That's right. Hey, Billy. An East West Center Forum happening this week is bringing together business women from across the world to celebrate leadership, entrepreneurship, and inspiration. And here to tell us about Gals with Lay are East West Center President Susie Veras Loom and Manu Bermudez. She's the Vice President of Human Resources over at the Hawaiian Dredging Construction Company. Hey, ladies. Aloha. Good Aloha. Morning. Good morning. So tell us about the uh, Gals with Lay. It is your seventh event. It is. We're very excited to be able to invite the community and international partners to come to the Inman Center at the East West Center on the 3rd of August from 1 to 7.30 p.m. And it is going to be a forum of amazing women, lay meaning leadership, entrepreneurship, and inspiration, where they can hear a bunch of keynote panelists, including Manu here, <laughs> as well as open uh, workshops on key critical issues that are facing women today. Yeah, and there's a lot of them. Yes. The theme, Manu, is going to be uh, future of work, yes. and of course, the DEI, that's our buzz phrase lately. Explain to our viewers what DEI is. So DEI is uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Um, and I think, you know, what we have a trend of seeing is that when you have people that have diverse backgrounds, um, they have really good ideas. And as long as you can uh, embrace those ideas, it also allows them to feel that they're a part of making those decisions, they, that they are there to contribute um, their ideas, their thoughts. And I think also what that does portray to is there's also... Um, it allows opportunity for retention. So I think a lot of employers now are also seeking out people that are able to, or willing and able to come back to work. Um, but a lot of the struggle that we seem to be facing is retaining our people. So if we can encompass the DEI aspect of it, that would allow us to do so. How far have we actually come? You know, we talk about uh, uh, pay parity and we're not quite there yet as far as women go in the workplace. Um, and, and then work from home and family leave and all these kinds of things that we feel like the rest of the world is far ahead from us. I mean, speaking from changing faces too, right? Yes. Yeah, so this is in conjunction with changing faces, which is a two week residential program at the East West Center. Um, we still continue to have these events because there still is a significant gender gap in pay um, throughout the world. The World Economic Forum had put out their report in 2023 and there is still a significant gap around the world, and they vary, of course, by country, and we're excited to see 11 different countries represented mm -hmm. in the international flavor and over 250 participants and women who are up and coming, so very exciting. Yeah, I've been to one of these events, and it is kind of almost a commiseration of some of the struggles that we feel mm -hmm. working in the workplace as a woman, uh, even in this century, you would think. The, yeah. uh, what, Manu, just real quickly, what do you want people to share or at least know about um, this event? Um, I think it's a wonderful opportunity for everyone to get together. Uh, most importantly, to network, to make the connections. Um, I look forward to meeting new people and hearing what their ideas are, um, but also taking away a few um, items where we can kind of work together and continue to push through some of the challenges that we're facing. Perfect. And we do have all that information on our website, hawaiinewsnow.com, if you'd like to join. And of course, dredging, that's another conversation we'll have to have. <laughs> Women in dredging. <laughs> all right. Thank you, ladies.